Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the second episode of the tutorial series on how to make Cuphead in Unity. Today we are going to take a look at animating the character, making the walk animation and of course the idle animation. So let's get right into it. We are here where we last left off in the last episode. And what I've done, I have created a few more sprites. Uh, I'm just going to show you them here. We are going to import all of them. You can, of course, download them with the link in the description or in the comments. Uh, you can, of course, also create your own, but we are going to do that later on in the tutorial series too. So just so you know, these do kind of look ugly, but we are going to make some better ones later on in the tutorial. All right. So now once you're in your assets folder, you want to uh, right click here and create a new folder and we'll call that uh, let's call it sprites all right let's go and drag all of our sprites in there all right now open the folder and we're going to make two more folders the first one we'll call uh, idle and the second one we'll call run now what you want to do is you want to select all of your idle animations and drag them in your idle folder and you're going to select all your run animations and drag them in your run folder. So here you have your run animations and here you have your idle animations. All right. So now let's actually make the animations. What you need to do is go to window up here and you want to go to animation and you want to click on the animator. It will probably uh, pop up as a second window for you, but you can just drag the second window up here. We want that in here where the asset store is. All right. And now what you want to do is click on the player, click on the player sprite and on the player sprite, we will create a new animation. What we need to do uh, to do that is also get the animation window. So go to window again, animation, and now click the animation. And for you, it will probably also be a floating window, but you can just drag that up here too. All right. Now you have this create button here. You can just click that and you have to name your animation. We will call our first animation simply idle anim. All right, save that. And now you can drag both of these things that are created in your idle animation. That's good. And now what you want to do is select all three images. So just click on it, uh, go shift and click on the other ones too. All right. And now what you want to do is drag those in here, drag them in here, and it will automatically create the animation for you. That's really cool. Unity actually creates this animation for you. You don't have to do anything basically. All right. So, so that we actually see it, we need to drag our animation window down here. And now when we hit this play button, then our animation will play. And this does not look right. Um, okay. This seems like a graphic bug from unity. Uh, all right. Okay. So just ignore that. Okay. Um, let's drag it to about 12 seconds. That looks good. And what you want to do next is you want to drag the animation window up here again. And we will create a new animation for that. You can just click on your old animation here and go create new clip. You of course have to name your animation again. I'm just going to call it run anim and hit save. And now what you want to do is go back to your sprites, go in your run folder, select all of them and drag them in here. And now we can drag it down here so we can see it better and we can go play. Oh, and our run anim animation seems a bit fast. So let's actually drag it out to about 15 seconds. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay. Now you have your animations. What you want to do next is you go to your animator that you have dragged in here. All right. 
what we need to do is go to our sprite, uh, play a sprite again, and here the animator should automatically pop up. And here you have your two animations that are that you just created. This entry error is currently pointing at the idle animation because we created that first. If you didn't create that first, you can just simply uh, right click and set as layer default state. All right, let's go to this plus sign here and let's create a boolean and we'll just call that is running. All right, now what you want to do is right click on your idle animation and go make transition and no, that did not work. All right, Unity was just a bit bugged out, I think, but now it worked. So you have your animation here. You can just drag that to just check that this arrow is actually pointing at the run animation. And now you can click on this arrow, arrow and uncheck has exit time. And in the seconds, you also uh, settings, you also want to set the transition duration to about 0.1 uh, because that will just look a bit better. And under the conditions, you can hit the plus sign and make the condition, a condition is running is true. Now what you want to do is from the run animation, right click and make a transition to the idle animation. You can again click on the arrow, uncheck has exit time and under the seconds, 0.1 duration. And this time under the conditions, you want to set is running to false because if we aren't running, we are going to play the idle animation. All right. So far, so good. Let's save that. And now we actually need to uh, change a bit in our player script so that the animations actually play. All right, go to your scripts folder and open the player controller script that we created in the last episode. And here we want to make a few improvements. All right, the first one is we will make a public animator. And we can just call that anim. Oh, animator. All right. And now down here in your update method, you want to check if uh, we're going to check if the player is on ground, is on ground. And if the input movement, input, input movement is not equal to zero, which of course means that we are going that we press either the arrow keys or A and D, and which means that we are moving. So what we want to do is set the anim dot set bool, and the bool we just created we call that is running, and we're gonna set that to true. Then we want to go else. If we are not running, we of course set that animation just copy that to oh to false all right that should work so now save your script and go back into unity all right and under your player you have now you now have this empty slot and we are going to drag in our player sprite with the animator and let's just check and hit play and we can see here that the idle animation is playing if we are not running. And once we are running, the other animation is playing. The only problem is that we currently run backwards when we press the left arrow key, which of course we don't want. So to fix that, we are going to go back into our script and we are gonna flip the sprite if we run in the left direction. All right, to do that, we. Up here, we need another, this time, private bool, private bool, and we can just call that right or, yeah, right should be good. And we, of course, need to set that to true because once we start the game, we are automatically facing the right direction. All right, so set that to true. And then we need to make a new void and we'll just call that, uh, let's make flip sprite, flip sprite. And 
and under your flip sprite method, we are going to set right equal to not right. Okay, next we want to set a vector three and let's just call that scale. Uh, we want to set scale. That's <laughs> all right. We're going to set that to transform dot local scale. All right. Next, we want to set the scale dot scale dot x. We want to set that. We want to multiply that by minus one. So flip it in the x direction. And lastly, we're just going to do transform dot local scale is equal to scale. All right. Next thing that we want to do is in our fixed update method. And this is actually the last thing that we need to do. We're going to make two if statements. The first if statement, we're going to check if the player is not facing the right direction and our input movement is bigger than zero. And if that happens, we want to flip our sprite. Then we're going to say else if this time, if our player is facing the right and our uh, input movement, input, input movement is smaller than zero. And then we also want to flip the sprite. All right, that's basically everything you have to do. Let's save that and try it out. And as you can see here, now we can walk in both directions. You can kind of, if you followed me here, you can kind of see that uh, it's not really that snappy, the movement, and the animations play a bit late. But I think we can fix that by going into our animator and clicking on these arrows. And I think here, here. Uh, you can do the this transition. You can make it even smaller. So now it should be really snappy, the movement. Of course, if you don't like that, you can also leave it at point 0.1. But for me, it kind of feels better if it instantly uh, just plays the run animation. All right, so that was it with this tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial. And if you want to see more, definitely go subscribe and check out the Cuphead playlist that I made on how to make Cuphead. And next episode, we are going to make a bit more programming, I think. We're going to make, I think, maybe uh, the retro look of the game. We could also do a health bar or shooting. I'm going to do a bit more programming. And I think then we're going to make a bit more of the art stuff. So I'm going to show you how you can create characters, create backgrounds, and of course, create the animations. But yeah, we're going to do that in the later tutorials. If you like the tutorial, please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.